In this lesson, we're going to talk about the product rule for exponents. So we're going to learn how to multiply numbers together when we're using exponents. Let's look at the problem 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th. Well, 2 to the 3rd could be represented as 2 times 2 times 2. If I could not use exponents, this is how I would have to write 2 to the 3rd. 2 to the 5th could be represented as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So here I have 2 to the 3rd, and here in red I have 2 to the 5th. Now, without actually multiplying all the 2's together, how can we write this expression using an exponent? Well, let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 2's, so that could be written as 2 to the 8th. So 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 5th equals 2 to the 8th. Notice that the base stayed the same, and the new exponent is the sum of the two previous exponents. And that is the product rule. So the base stays the same, and the exponent is the sum. So in variable, in just general terms, here is the product rule for exponents x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. So this is showing you that the base stays the same and the exponent is the sum of the two previous exponents. So now let's do a few examples together. We'll do 7 squared times 7 to the third. So we know that the base stays the same and the exponent will be 2 plus 3, which is 5. Now, if you really had to, you could multiply all these 7's together, but we won't be multiplying numbers that will get that big. So, just, you know, you might read the instructions in your homework and make sure, but we really will not be expected to work out numbers that are this large. Okay? x to the 7th times x to the 9th, well, the base will be x, and the new exponent will be 7 plus 9, which is 16. On part C, y times y to the fifth. Now, this y has no exponent, so I can assume that the exponent is 1. Or, you know, you can see that there's a y there, so y times 5 more y's would make a total of 6 y's, so y to the sixth. But just know that if there's not an exponent written, you assume it's a 1. Okay, y to the third times y squared times y to the seventh. The base will be y, and 3 plus 2 plus 7 will be 12. And that is the product rule for exponents.